read the situation. The single, six singles and over. We... Oh, what about that for a shot? What about that for a cricket shot? My word! That was just a gentle push. Almost on a defensive stroke, really. Look at that. Superb timing. That must be disheartening for, for Jay Ross. And pause for the camera as well. Having an extended session in the nets. Ouch. Easily done. Steady lobs it over. Down it goes. Down it goes. These are the moments. Absolutely. I mean, the pressure was created because of that field set. And he didn't really go after it with a clear intent. He's waiting and then a little unsteady and spilled it in the end. It was a difficult one, but could have been an easier one had it reacted a little earlier. Oh no, helped on its way. That'll be four. What a pity. What a pity it started the over so well. Probably a slow ball attempted. Lost shape on that one, Mustafiz. Fine leg third, both in the circle, yeah. Rolling his wrist over that one and losing the direction. He knows he made an error. Now need a few boundaries. It's about now, it's about now, when Kalmaz says he needs boundaries. Massive power. And it's the back foot shot once again that comes good. So different. Myers compared to the other left-handers in the circuit, in the T20 circuit. It clears the front leg so that the body can function. The muscles and the timing through the offside is just absolutely brilliant. That's a miss hit. That's a miss hit. And again, and again, the man at long on just stalls ever so slightly. This time it's Johnson Charles. What is happening? Half chances need to be taken at this stage. This was a straightforward effort. He just stuttered, froze. And by the time he realized it was too late, the batsman probably had given up. He got his fingers to it, but just couldn't hold it. That is something that's going to get them closer. Made it look so simple as a civil round and got the maximum. When he started the innings, he had few problems with the shot with deliveries. But this time around, he was comfortable. He was in control. Full stretch of the arms and the ball disappeared. Now once again, the required run rate is just over six now. Looks like there'll be four wins on the trot. Oh, he is uh, having a really good time. What a great piece of timing that is uh, from uh, Kyle Mayers. Well, he offered quite a few opportunities uh, to Camilla Victorians to send him back. Those opportunities were not taken, and now he's making them pay. Almost a Yorker land. But did well to get underneath that one to hit the ball aerial. And that's uh, fetched uh, ball and immediately put away with the utmost of ease. The runs are coming thick and fast. Oh, he wants to finish this quickly. Myers now. Three boundaries already in this over. He did that easily, deliberately. Opened the face of the bat to be able to slice the ball into the gap. That's going to be hard work for the bowlers from here on. Up in the air and over the top. Finishing with the flourish. This is tremendous far hitting by Kyle Mears. Leg inch closer to what could be the first win for Fortune Borishal in uh, as a champion in this tournament.
It's 133 for two. Really well. That's gone. That is out. Well, he was in that mood to finish the game in a jiffy. He was looking for big strokes. In the end, he's been holed out. Yeah, he went for the glory shot, maybe to take him to what he thought could have been his 50, but not to be. Got a lot of height on that, not the distance that was needed. Moin Ali pouches the simplest of catches. But maybe it's too little too late for Kumula Victorians. Kyle Mayers goes for 46. It's 141 for three.